Hello, this is Arsene Urban. I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use Monkey Jam, which is a free stop motion animation software. This can be downloaded from the Monkey Jam website, which can be found by typing in Google Monkey Jam and then click on the top link. It should be giant screaming robot monkeys.com. Once you're on this, go to download. You just you can fill in the optional information if you want. And then click download. Save the file and download it. And uh, once you have it, install it. And then open it up. To use this software, you're going to need a webcam or a camera that has a webcam feature installed or some sort of firewire port. Webcams use USB and digital cameras and video cameras use firewire, so you just have to test, test around with it and see if it works. To start using this uh, program, you're going to have to go to File, New XPS. If you want to uh, have the images saved in folders whilst making the animation so you can edit them later, click New XPS with folders. This will store the images in an individual folder that you can uh, look at after you've actually made the animation. Right, you want to name the animation. I'm just going to name this uh, tutorial. And then I'm going to select the frames per second I'm going to use. It's going to be 15. One layer. Select where you want to save the file. From here, you want to go to Settings, Image Format. Make sure this is on PNG. This is a higher quality higher quality uh, image file, and uh, it'll make your image quality a bit better. Right from here, you want to go to this little uh, camera thing, which is this is the capture window. Right from here, if you have multiple cameras in installed on your computer or plugged in, you'll have to select it from this list here. Make sure the mode is on stop motion and you can change the size to whatever you want I put it on 800 by 600 uh, to change the settings of the camera you go to video settings and then camera dialogues and then device you want to make sure all the settings are on manual make sure the face tracking is off and once you've done this you can just play around with the settings to put it however you need it and then click OK Right, frame averaging is here. You want to make sure this is turned on. This uh, sort of uh, combines images to make the image quality a bit better. You also want to make sure the image hold is on one, otherwise it will take two images at once. Therefore, resulting it in 13 fr 30 frames per second when you want it at 15. Right, to start capturing frames, all you have to do is make sure this window is selected, and then you want to press Enter and it should capture the frame. Once you've done that you move your figure around in each frame and just keep pressing enter when you want to capture a frame. And that's all I'm going to do for now. This is just a mess about just to show you how to use it. Right? When you've uh, captured your frames just minimize that window to preview what you've just made, you click this little TV screen preview mode movie button or press F7. And you click this little uh, arrow here to preview it. You notice he's just rocking his head up and down. I haven't focused this image so it looks a bit blurry right now. Right. If you're happy with what you've done, you click this little uh, publish button here and it will uh, export your images into an AVI file. Right, you want to make sure the image size is on image size. Right, this is the uh, compression part. If you want to have uh, it uncompressed with the highest quality possible, keep that on and on. Otherwise, you want to select something like uh, Cinepack or D DIVX. Uh, problem with uh, uncompressed is that it has massive file sizes. So make sure you've got enough room on your hard drive, right? Select where you want it to go, my videos, and then save the movie. That will have builded the movie, and then you can watch this afterwards in your thing. Uh, if you want to see the images that have been stored from this animation, you 
find where you saved it and that should be around here somewhere there we go and then if you, you look here the images have been saved so you can use this if you want to be uh, masking or something afterwards uh, if you wanted to import images into monkey jam you go to file import and then images you can use this uh, to put uh, images that you've edited or something into it or, or if you're using a digital camera you could uh, transfer the files from your digital camera onto your computer then put them in monkey jam and uh, do it that way I'm just going to select that and add the file make sure the holds on one and then import if you look it's been imported in you can also import audio if you want to match up uh, an animation with an audio file by going audio I'm just going to put some random song in there it's going to be a bit You're not going to be able to hear that right now. Unless I do that. It just lets you match up the animation that you're making with the audio to make it look better. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a tutorial by Arsene Owen. If you have any questions, just message me on YouTube and I'll be sure to answer them. Cheers.